What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am undertaking a fairly simple task that is long overdue, which is essentially cleaning out my closet, uh, shout out to Eminem by the way, and replacing some of the crap that's in here with a working test bed station. So I have a dedicated space, a dedicated place to test hardware and things like that. Because right now, if you look at this table here, this is where awesome hardware happens every other week. It's usually the one off to the side that you can't really see on screen, but it essentially holds the streaming machine as well as all the peripherals that Paul operates every other week when we do awesome hardware streams at my house. Um, however, it, it's currently doubling as a test bed area as well. So anytime I want to test a graphics card, for example, I have to set up a whole other table so I can put the test bed on top of, and then I have to switch out all the peripherals that were connected to the streaming machine and plug those into the test bed itself. It's just a really big hassle that takes a lot of unnecessary time to set up and tear down. So I'm really looking forward to doing away with that whole method today uh, in, in place of something a lot more convenient and efficient. And as a little bonus feature for this video, I am going to be swapping out some of the hardware on the test bed itself, uh, particularly the uh, motherboard and CPU. So we're going to be swapping out the gaming G1 Wi-Fi for the Strix X99 Gaming from Asus, a very awesome little board. Uh, it's got RGB LED functionality all over it with the built-in RGB header. Uh, it's also got U.2, M.2, and things like that, USB 3.1 type C and A. Uh, we've also got the 6950X. So this is the new Core i7 10 core chip from Intel. It's really just making sure that the system is top of the line and that it can really handle anything I throw at it. For RAM, we're sticking with G-Skill. However, we are gonna swap out the modules for a kit of Trident Z. Uh, this is their DDR4, of course, at 3200 megahertz. Very fast stuff. And I also wanted to optimize my storage configuration. So instead of having one 120 gig SSD and a single one terabyte mechanical drive for my games, I'm basically doing away with those and replacing them with a single 960 gig uh, Crucial MX200 SSD. It's just going to be really nice to have everything on one single drive. It's also going to make the test bed a little bit lighter in case I do need to haul it around from time to time. And last but not least, we are swapping out the power supply here. So currently I've been using a G-Series 1600 watt unit from LEPA, which has been a great unit, honestly. It's been super stable and all. However, it's got this proprietary AC cord that I've just grown to hate over the years anytime I just want to use any old standard AC cable. So for that, we're swapping it out for a Gigabyte Extreme Gaming 1200 watt power supply, which is 80 plus platinum. It is a modular unit, and even though we're sacrificing some wattage here coming from the LEPA, uh, I don't think it's going to be much of an issue because graphics cards themselves are getting a lot more power efficient, as well as we're, we're not even seeing as much SLI support with like three way and four way from the folks at NVIDIA. So I don't think it's really going to be much of an issue. 1200 is still plenty for many multi GPU setups that I may be testing here in the studio. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and start swapping out parts here on the test bed and then make my way over to the closet where I'll be taking all this stuff out and putting all new stuff in and it's gonna look awesome. It's gonna be great. Let's do it.
the hell that was, but uh, we're done. Yay! So here's the test set up. Looks pretty good. All right, I guess we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. Uh, so I've got the test bed right here, just chilling. It's a little bit noisy right now because it's a fresh system, fresh install of Windows 10, new, new motherboard, new drive and all that. I haven't really configured or tuned the fans for anything yet, especially the, uh, the H100i GTX back there. Uh, but there's plenty of room here. There is plenty of room. I did stick like, a, I took a wrist rest from this keyboard and I stuck it in, I stuck it through through this hole on the other side of the test bed and it's protruding out maybe about you know, six or seven inches right there. But that's basically so that the uh, the radiator on the H100i GTX can just kind of sit and hover in midair uh, without putting too much strain uh, uh, for, with, uh, with the tubing on the uh, water block there. So uh, a little bit of a MacGyvering but seems to work out at least for now. Uh, apart from that, I could probably stand to tidy up some of the cables. What are you doing back there, cables? Why are you looking all untidy? You gotta clean up your act, cables. So I might do some of that uh, a little bit later. And then uh, moving up here, we've got peripherals, at least keyboard and mouse. I did want something with a keypad, so we went with a K70. Uh, Non-RGB, this is just the red LEDs one, Cherry MX red switches. I've had this one forever. Uh, probably since it first came out, but it's still a really good keyboard, still works no problem. And the Myonix Neos 7000, this is the optical version. This is one of the only two products I got during uh, Prime Day this year, uh, along with an SSD, but this is a really, really comfortable mouse, and uh, it's, it's the sensor's super nice as well, so uh, hopefully that'll serve me well. It's a little bit little bit limited on space here, but I could always move the, uh, the keyboard to the left. Uh, when, when the tray's pulled out if I need more mousing real estate. And then finally, we got the monitor, of course. This is the Monoprice 4K panel that I've had for quite some time now. Uh, that was, you know, used to be on the other table. And now you're probably wondering, like, what am I gonna do when Paul comes over for awesome hardware? Am I just gonna, like, keep moving this monitor back and forth from this table to the other one? Uh, no, I actually have another panel picked out. Uh, it's not 100% for sure that I'm going to get it. It depends on a, a vendor, whether or not they want to give it to me. Uh, but it should be another 4K panel that's probably better quality than this one I would say uh, it's definitely a little bit more pricey but um, if I do end up getting that monitor I will be doing a follow-up video maybe doing a quick little tour uh, on some of the main features of that panel in case you guys are interested it's gonna be a professional panel if it works out it won't be a gaming one um, however IPS it's gonna look super sexy and all that but for now this is gonna work out like I was saying I think just having my own dedicated space for testing hardware is gonna save me a lot of time in the long run and uh, just speed up my overall workflow. So I'm really happy about that. Overall, I would call this a mission success. And uh, most importantly, I think I'm just happy that all the clutter that was once in my closet is finally cleared out because that was, uh, oh shit. That's gonna do it for now, guys. Be sure to toss me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of my little setup here. It's not much, but it does the job, I suppose. And uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. Have a good day, everyone. I will see you in the next one. Say bye, banana. Fondling my banana.